guys, I'm sure if you're like me, you've got hundreds, if not thousands of videos backed up somewhere. So you go to find that all important video, maybe a treasured memory from a holiday or maybe your kids or something, some special event. You go to play that video, you think it's safely backed up, you play it and what happens? Yeah, it doesn't play. Somehow you've thought that file was safely backed up, but it isn't. It's corrupt. What are you gonna do? Well, there is an answer coming right up. What's up YouTube, Dave here with Seeing Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. If you haven't stopped by here before, please be sure to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Yeah, those important videos, holiday of a lifetime, kids doing something amazing, or worse still, even a paid for job where you've lost content because the file's corrupt. Potentially guys, we do put a lot of our faith in technology and you know what, from time to time, technology does go wrong. So what can we do? Well, repair it from Wondershare could just be the answer. First off guys, let me just say that I am being sponsored to make this video by Wondershare. Now Wondershare make a ton of software for tons of different applications. But guys, you will always, always, always get my honest review on anything that I do on this channel, whether it's sponsored or not. Now, the software comes in two different flavors. You've got an online version, which is free of charge, and that gives you the ability to recover three different file types, MOV files, MP4 files, and 3GP files. Your video size is, however, limited to 200 megabytes or less, but you will be able to preview up to 30 seconds of that video once you've recovered it. And you will also be able to do 10 repairs a day. And that's all free, so pretty cool, right? Then we move to Repair It Desktop. Now this is much more fully featured. Not only does it enable you to have unlimited file sizes, it also increases the amount of file formats that you can recover to 10, adding the popular AVI, M4V and FLV formats. You also have the ability to perform an advanced recovery, which if the standard recovery options don't work, the advanced recovery enables you to select a sample working file and use that DNA, if you like, in order to help with the recovery process. The desktop version, however, isn't free, but it does come with either monthly, annual, or a lifetime subscription. And the lifetime subscription is kind of like a bit of a no-brainer to me, because at $69.95, that to me, for a lifetime, is worth its weight in gold. So guys, let's head over to the computer and let's see if we can see this software in action. Okay guys, here you can see I've got the free version of Repair It from Wondershare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick over to this directory now. I've got a test directory here with a folder in it called Recover It that I've created. And inside that folder, I've got two folders, Corrupt File, Good File, and I've got an actual video file, an MP4 video file. If I open up the Good File, that's empty, nothing in there. And if I open up the corrupt file, I've got a corrupt file. And as you can see here, the thumbnail just shows like a QuickTime file extension icon, whereas it's exactly the same file here, C0259, C0259. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and play this file. First of all, I'm just gonna double click it. It's gonna open up QuickTime. And here we've got a message that this file cannot be opened. File is not compatible with QuickTime. I'm also going to try and open it with VLC. So as you can see here, VLC hasn't even started to play it. If I double click on that, the play icon turns to play, but nothing's happening. The file's not playing. So, and actually it stopped itself. So let's close that. Let's drag this file onto the repair it window. And let's see what happens. So immediately I've got an unsupported video size. Please upload a video only 
in 200 meg or download desktop repair it without a limitation so as I said earlier guys your file does need to be below 200 meg in order to use the free online version so guys let's flick over to the desktop version which is here I'm going to take my same file and drag it to the add it's now adding the file and we can see the file here test recover it corrupt file c0259 and now I'm going to click on repair so that video actually failed to repair itself but it's asking me to try the advanced repair so as we can see here we've got advanced repair so let's click on that it's asking us to add a sample video and it says the sample video should be a good playable video file created with the same device or the same format as the corrupted video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here where we've got our good video file and I'm going to see if I can drag that onto there I can't so I've got to navigate it that's no problem let's try that to our good file we open that do next let's check in the sample so let's see what happens So guys, there we have it. One video repaired successfully, preview and save the videos now. So let's take a look at this. File is loading. There you have it guys. There is the video playing fixed. And all we need to do now is save that to the computer and we're good to go. So there you are, the file has been recovered successfully. So guys, there you have it. The free online version was pretty usable but it was limited in terms of file size. My file was pretty big and pretty messed up. It was a near gigabyte file and I kind of needed to use the advanced repair in order to recover that file, but it did it. And that's the important thing. That file that I thought was corrupt, lost forever, was recovered, happy days. Okay, I had to provide a sample file that sample file was from the same camera, so the kind of DNA was pretty much the same. Now that sample file was also created months ago, so the files don't have to be created together. The software just kind of needs to understand that file DNA in order to help recover it, but a good result. So guys, that kind of wraps up this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I'm gonna be leaving links to both these versions of software and to the website where you can kind of get these. If you've got any files that you might want me to try and recover while I've still got this software, reach out to me as well in the comments section and I'll see what I can do for you. But until then guys, thanks ever so much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. And guys, I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens. Please like, subscribe and click on the bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. And I will see you the next time. Bye for now.